Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the Android version 12 on this Poco X2. So guys, let's begin. So as you guys can see here, the Android version here is S, but here inside it, it is showing the Android 11 only. I don't know what is here but uh, the android version here is android 12 the s version and the kernel here is the xiaomi kernel the stock kernel perf kernel going back this is the option the about phone ui and as you can see this is feeling more like a one ui font size and everything has just increased a lot this is the settings page as you can see which is completely redesigned from the android 11 as you can see each and everything they have the size of the icons and the fonts have increased as you can see here then going this is the home screen the home screen has remained just the same and these are the quick settings the quick settings panel the rows are reduced to 2 and this is the power menu as you can see the power menu remains the same as android 11 this is the recent panel and as you can see which is also you know slightly redesigned edges are now curved and you get to see the icon and on tapping the icon these are the options available and you get to see the screen recorder available here in the android 12 as you can see this is the option but the screen record here is just not working currently on this phone this is the port of the pixel 5 port and the screen recorder here is just not working I'll show it to you and then as you can see this is the screen record and the frame drops a lot as you can see then going to the settings the settings panel here is redesigned completely in the about phone section these are the options you get in the system these are the options the gestures the swipe for notification here is a new option you can swipe down on the in the navigation bar this is the gesture bar just swipe down and the notification panel will appear uh, up here so yes this is a new option available here we can, you can use and you get to see the double tap to open assistance and all this stuff the camera and everything these are the system navigation gestures the navigation gestures just remains the same then you get to see the power menu options and stuff so yes these were just the same option and the 120 hertz display is working perfectly fine on this phone currently then going to the passwords and accounts these are all the same options available as the previous android 11 one in the safety and emergency you get to see the earthquake alerts and emergency location services on the wireless emergency alerts and everything going to the privacy here you then going to the accessibility these are also just the same options nothing here is just changed in the styles and wallpapers these are the styles the wallpapers and everything the grid remains the same then going to the display options here also everything remains the same the dark theme and everything the night light here is also working perfectly fine as you can see then you get to see the colors options the natural boosted saturated and adaptive the smooth display here it is the adaptive smooth it switches to 60 to or 90 hertz according to the content but this phone has 120 hertz display so it is not working on 90 it is working at 120 hertz display so yes you have to take that you have to turn it on this option smooth display to switch to 120 hertz on the phone poco x2 then you get to see the of op this option double tap to wake which is just not working as you can see the fingerprint here is just working fine going to the sound and vibration here also everything remains the same the battery here this is the new ui in the view battery usage these are the this is the battery usage and these are the new animations when you just stretch it all of, all the fonts and th stuff just stretches so this is a new ui available battery backup on this room here is just worst i must say then you get to see the digital well-being available here and the security these are the options the pixel ink print this is the fingerprint and the fingerprint scanner here is just working fine as you can see okay three fingerprint scanner here is working there are no screen unlocking sounds currently available they may add in the future updates 
so yeah let's see to it this was it for the settings now going to the home screen this is the home screen just the same as android 11 on swiping right you get to see the google feed option available this is this the quick settings and the wi-fi here is just working perfectly fine the flashlight here is also working no issues with that too the rotate the night light hotspot everything here is currently working absolutely fine and you get to see the nearby share the screen record here which i just showed to you previously so yes this is the home screen which remains as usual the same options here are just available and talking about the geekbench score I, so here are the scores 396 and 1344 yes the scores are very less as per the the snapdragon 750 30g so yes currently the scores are very less and there are so many bugs present here in this rom and this is the new ui of the volume as you can see the new volume panel ui and as you can see this is also a bug that sometimes the volume panel ui just go and when you just press the down volume down button the volume just as you can see it lowers very slow the volume goes down very slowly as you can see this is the new ui and here are the option three options available then talking about the youtube bug i'll just play a video let's see if it's it starts so yeah this is the ad plate and currently it is working but it will just stop after few seconds i don't know why but there is no volume this time the video here is working but there is no volume so yes this is some bugs in the video youtube and in youtube music also there is no audio as you can see this is it just shows this error so you will not be able to hear music or video these are just not working and in instagram also the sound and music here and video everything is just not working then talking about the camera here there was no inbuilt camera available but i had installed the google camera version 8.21 which is working perfectly fine so far as you can see here so yes the camera here is just working perfectly fine then talking about the calls and stuff i haven't tried it yet because i'm not using this phone as a primary device now so yes this was it this was the android 12 rom dp3 for this poco x2 which has been ported by team rap so yes that is it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye